All right, so we're going to go in this session into the different styles of baskets, where they're used, what accessories are used. We're going to look at the equipment and how to use the equipment, set up of the controls and the uh, pump filtration system, and then we'll talk about the number of people to run the system and the, and the flow rates of, of the equipment. So the first thing we want to look at is the different types of baskets we have. So we have three styles of baskets. We have our standard basket. We call it a basket 9, 16 by 20. And it's got 1 inch by 1 inch uh, grids. Every one of our baskets has a hook on it. And why the hook is nice is it allows you to hang the basket on the edge of the tank. So when you pull it up, if you want to do some inspection, you can look at inside at the contents and you can do any kind of hand cleaning you need to do while the basket uh, hangs. When you're using the system, you always want to keep the handles to your stomach so that it always allows you to pull the basket out of the tank and hook as opposed to having to pull the basket out and then rotate it 90 degrees. So if you always have the, brass, the basket facing you, it makes life a lot easier. So this is your standard basket, nine. You're gonna use that predominantly. So in our standard systems, you're gonna get basically 90% of the baskets will be this style. Uh, it's a good idea to get one basket, same dimensions, but you'll notice this has a very, very tiny mesh. This is an eighth inch mesh. And why that's nice is for small items, for utensils, especially utensils, knives, spoons, forks, knives will slip through the one inch by one inch grids. And so if you're doing utensils, you'll definitely want to use the 9M or the 9 mesh basket. And the third style of basket we make is a 9D or 9 deep. It's two times deeper. So it's a 16 by 12, but it's 12, uh, 16 by 20, but it's 12 inches deep. And it allows you to put in larger items. And then generally you'll want to get a, a basket lid so that you can snap it close. Because if you get a plastic item, some of the toys, they'll float on you. So you want to have the lid on to keep everything from floating away. So those are the three basic types of lids that you'll use. Some of the inserts that are possible, this is a dish rack insert. And if you take a, a look, you'll notice that it looks a lot like your dishwasher at home. And it's a dish rack set. And why you call it a dish rack is it's to load dishes in. So with this system, an ultrasonic system, there's no need to have an external dishwasher. You can clean all your cups and dishes and glasses in the, in the ultrasonic process. This, however, is not to be used with glasses. Uh, you'll want to lay the glass down because as you lower a glass into the tank, it'll fill with air and the, and the glass will start to pop out. It'll float on you. In order for ultrasound to work, I've got to get water into all the cavities. So this is perfect for dishes as we just stack the dishes into the grooves. These, this dish rack set will drop into each basket very nicely. So that is where we'll use that. Uh, there's also a set of dividers that we have. We have two different styles of dividers. This style of divider is just a clip-in divider. And what it does is it just snaps right in to the basket and it just gives you a vertical division so that china vases figurines don't knock into each other so what makes this one nice is it's very easy to install it's just drop in and snap it in this set of dividers is an interlocking divider set it has two long and three shorts and what's nice about it is it allows you to change the size of your the size of your divisions within the basket. So you'll have you can put 12 figurines in here. So if you have small and large mixed, you can you can adjust the size of the grids. Uh, you have to basically make the adjustments, but once you have it set put together, it's all it all tracks in and you drop it right into your basket and I personally prefer this for doing glasses and figurines because what I will do is I will lay the glasses lengthwise or the figurines lengthwise 
And that way when I drop the basket into the tank, I'm dropping it at an angle so that I'm filling up the glass and almost burping the, the air out of the cups so they don't float away. So those are the, the two different types of dividers in the dish rack set along with the lid.